Hey teachers, in this video I'll show you how you can scale your grades down because very often you give a quiz, let's say out of 22 points and you grade it all and then you realize, well, maybe they weren't ready. Let's call this like a five point assignment. So in your grade book, you make yourself a five point assignment and everything is great except all of your grades are already calculated out of 22 points and you're trying to fill it into something that's made out of five points. So in that case, for you, we've built in the scaling feature, and it's as simple as this. You click grab data, and you grab your data as is. You'll notice right now we have Ethan over here in the beginning with 12 points. Skahichi is with 16, Bryce with 18.5. Everything is out of 22 points. Now to scale it down, just click the hamburger menu, and over here, tell grade transfer what you would like to scale it from. I would like to scale from something in 22 points, into something that is out of five points and then you click this little toggle button over here once you do that it'll give you a confirmation saying hey you sure you want to you want to scale this thing it's out of 22 you sure you want to make it out of five it'll give you an example so something that's like a 17.6 out of 22 would now be called a four out of five um, and if you're okay with this scaling from 22 to 5, you click OK. Once you do that, it will show you what's now contained in the briefcase. And you'll notice that over here, when we go check, um, the grades are now different, although the same. They're scaled down. So Bryce, instead of being called an 18.5 out of 22, is now a 4.2 out of 5. Ethan, who used to have a 12 out of 22, now has a 2.73 out of 5. Um, now, when you go over to your grade book, it's very easy to just go ahead and fill this data down. Okay. One other thing I want to show you is you get a lot of alerts in this process. So once you get the hang of this, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you go and you turn off your settings. So in advanced settings under custom overrides on the bottom, there's this little checkbox. If you click this checkbox, you will no longer, and then you save, you will no longer get all of those hint messages and those verifications like you sure you want to um, scale it so let me show you what it looks like now so if we clear it I can just say let's grab this data we grab it and I go ahead and click this now toggle to scale it from out of 22 down to being out of five and instead of getting all those confirmations um, I've turned that off in the advanced settings down here and so I don't get any notifications but you'll notice that the grades did in fact um, get scaled down. The scaling works in both ways. You can scale upwards. So now my data is out of five points. If I want to scale it out of five points up to being out of 100, I can do so. And now everything should be in percentages, which is out of 100. So let's check if that works out. Yep, Bryce is at an 84. Ethan's at a 54.6. So you can do the math and make sure that that actually works um, if you don't trust me. And that's it. That's our new scaling feature. Hopefully you like it. It does save it. Um, once you click the button, it does save your last settings in here. So if you always grade things out of percentages, but always put them into the grade book out of 20, once you've done that once, um, and the next time you open it up, it'll still be there already pre-configured for you. And you can just click now and, and you'll be good to go. So hopefully you'll find that helpful. Um, please subscribe to our channel. Um, please like, follow, share, do all that good stuff um, that people do with social media. All right. Thank you.